Children, you watch them grow, cry at their first day at school, help them get over their first breakup, and then one day they'll fly the nest. I said one day they fly the nest. Go on, you heard them. Sling your hook. Up, up, up. And don't darken my door again. Your mum and dad need that spare room to keep their Bon Tempe home organs. It's not that kids today don't want to leave home. They do. They just can't afford to. <laughs> Phil Dudman is 25 and he returned from university three years ago to live with his parents. He's got a full-time job and works freelance as a music journalist. He's saving money every month, but he can't afford to buy a house here in London where he needs to stay to develop his writing career. He's looked into options such as house sharing and part buy, part rent, but he's been left feeling rather daunted. It just seems to be a lot of different choices that you've got to make and I suppose generally they end up putting you off the bigger picture. As for his parents, Bill and Kay, they think it's about time Phil got a life. I think one of the things he won't realise until he goes is actually the bad bit, it costs you money, but the good bit is you're free, that you, you're out there. I would get on, but I think anyone in a similar position would look forward to their independence and like to be out. And, and there's another thing is you, you kind of want to fend for yourself. You know, you, you want to do it for yourself. You want to get going. But independence is something he just can't afford, or so he thinks. If only there was someone I knew who could help Phil in his financial predicament. Someone who can cut through financial problems with a single blow. Someone who knows his APR from his base rate. Someone who reads the FT and actually understands it. Yes, it's Super Advisor. He's not Superman, he's an accountant. You're an accountant. Come on, behave. Accountants. <laughs> Lawrence Gold is a finance expert and he's here to help Phil with his escape plan, but also to show Bill and Kay how they could benefit from their firstborn moving out. So how much are you actually earning? About 18 and a half yep. for, uh, for the old day job. Freelance, it's just something that I've just started, mm -hmm. so about £100 a month. OK. Uh, how much does it actually cost you for him to be here? Have you ever thought about that and worked it out? Never oh. actually worked it out, no. down but to the nth degree, no. which is probably something we should have done. Phil, what do you spend your money on? Travel, um, lots of gigs. Um, that's what I get my kicks out of, and uh, lots, of, lots of records. He costs you around about £210 a month. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, and you're charging him 106 mm. So it, he is costing you more than he's paying you. Lawrence is now aware of the total Dudman finances, but how much do they know about each other's? What is the council tax bill per month for this property? What's his record collection worth? Oh, well, you mean, what, not per month, but total no, in cost? In total. About 90, 90 pounds a month. OK, it's, it's more than double that. It's 194 pounds a month. How much of that do you contribute to? Oh, that's right, you don't, do you? I've really no idea, cos I've... Uh, it's like a pint of beer. I haven't bought many CDs lately, so... Uh, he buys one. But it must well, be... Uh, it maybe must you be and me should go down areas. the pub, you should yeah, buy a beer, yeah. and I'll tell you You're that right. his record collection is worth at least 3,000 pounds. £3,000 and there wasn't a single Engelbert Humperdinck in there. Now it's Lawrence's turn to reveal his master plan to get Phil into the real world. So, Philip, do you want to live here or do you want a bit more freedom? Well, obviously I want to move out. Right, OK. Well, then you've, what you've got to think about is you're going to rent somewhere, mm -hmm. OK? Now, that may mean that you have a lot less money to play with, but you've got all your freedom. It does seem a shame that uh, for people in my situation, or better or worse off, that rental is the only option, just generally in a sort of, because it's dead money, isn't it? Yeah, not, and there's not nothing upset. I can, and I, I agree 100% with you, it is dead money, but if you think about the, the what, what you're getting for it, you're getting your own life, mm -hmm. because you're not falling back on your parents. Now, how do you feel about that? I, I think it's an essential part of life, yeah. that you, ha you have to yeah. do it. And I, th I think it should begin sooner rather than later, because okay. the longer you leave it in this comfortable situation, you don't actually get focused and get started on doing it. If you have a kipper at home, these are Lawrence's top tips to move them on. Make your kipper's rent realistic. If it's too low, you'll never shift them. Don't let your kipper spend on non-essentials. Make sure they're saving their cash. And encourage your kipper to rent. A good landlord's reference will help them when it's time to get a mortgage or a life partner. <laughs>